Barking Episode 3, Beginning Exercises on Leash. When a dog becomes aroused or reactive, it is due to chemicals being released by the brain, affecting the dog's behavior. Not only does the dog's behavior change because of these chemicals and stress hormones, but their heartbeat, respiration, and blood flow will change too. Jerking a dog's neck will not reduce these chemicals, instead it will increase them. In this video, the dog I'm using is wearing a padded martingale collar, but I suggest using a front clipping harness to decrease the pressure on the dog's neck, which can make them more aroused on a walk. Exercise 1. Release the pressure. Turn to owner when the leash is tense. Put a piece of food down on the ground so that your dog pulls towards it, and click when your dog gives in to the pressure. The timing of the click is when the dog stops lunging forwards and chooses to come with you. You're clicking that choice of coming with you. If your dog doesn't turn to find you, briskly back up and when the dog finally gives in and comes your direction, click. You don't want to cue your dog to leave it. You want the food to be like a distraction in the environment like another dog or person that your dog wants to pull or lunge towards. What you're teaching your dog in this exercise is simply move with me when you feel pressure on leash. If you do this exercise correctly, you'll find that your dog quickly stops lunging towards things and actually moves with you more happily. Exercise 2. Let's go. What to do if your dog barks. Barking can be reinforcing, so the more a dog is allowed to bark, the more likely they will continue barking in the future. When you and your dog are surprised on a walk and your dog starts to bark, simply say, let's go and move briskly in the opposite direction. You can use this cue whenever you change direction unexpectedly or need to move away from an area that's causing your dog to be over their threshold. With your dog on leash, turn away from your dog saying, let's go, and click when they turn to come with you. Let's go. If your dog doesn't turn to come with you, pat your leg or use a kissy noise to encourage your dog. Let's go. Click when the dog chooses to come with you. Let's go. If you're really having problems, try doing the exercise inside first. This exercise is great for anxious owners who panic when their dogs bark. Instead, you simply say, let's go and move, just like you've practiced. Exercise 3. Treats for calmly looking. Changing your dog's emotional response. The basic concept of this exercise is marking your dog for being calm on a loose leash in the presence of the stimuli, another dog or person, and while looking at the stimuli. Not only are you reinforcing your dog for being calm and relaxed around distractions, but you're using classical conditioning to create new neuron connections in your dog's brain to change their emotional response to these things. You are essentially training your dog to enjoy the presence of these distractions without getting aroused. If you're on a walk with your dog and you see a dog or person, you're going to feed your dog a treat in their mouth while they're looking at that person. Another thing you can do is click and calmly put the treat down on the ground or calmly feed the dog the treat. Putting the treat on the ground in a slow motion helps to calm the dog down. If your dog is refusing to eat treats, that tells you that the dog is either too aroused to be able to eat or your treats aren't good enough. So create more distance between you and the stimulus. If the dog starts barking, remember what you learned. All you have to say is let's go and move in the opposite direction. In the beginning, you want the stimulus to be as far away as possible, so perhaps two blocks away. As your dog succeeds, you can get closer and closer to the stimulus. However, if your dog ever seems stressed, end the game and go the other way. It's best to have a friend with another dog to help you so that their behavior isn't as unpredictable as you'll find on the street. Here are some helpful tips. 1. When you see a distraction on a walk, cross the street to set your dog up for success. 2. If you have a very fearful or reactive dog, simply change the direction of your walk when you see something that your dog won't be able to handle at this point in their training. 3. Never feed the dog for looking at your treats. 4. Use real meat or cheese for these exercises. The higher value the reinforcement, the faster your dog will learn. If you use low-level treats, your dog might not make any progress. 5. You can use calming signals to help your dog on a walk by yawning or sighing loudly when you see the distraction. You can also walk in an arc around the distraction rather than head on, which is very unnatural for a dog to do. 6. If you're getting frustrated, better turn and go home immediately than take it out on your dog. 7. Never leave a dog behind a fence where they can see other dogs and people passing by. 
This can cause them to become reactive at the fence as well as on walks. When in doubt, back up or say, let's go and move away. That's all for now. Thanks to Spirit the Canadian Husky for being such a great demo dog. And don't forget to subscribe to see the next episode in this series.